Want to know how to save time and money in just 15 minutes on all of your belt drives? Stick around and let Erie Tech tell you how. V-Belt drives are everywhere. They're in every building in every industry across the nation. So why wouldn't we want to take the time to make sure that these drives are working the way that the original equipment manufacturer intended to? And the most important thing we need to worry about is correct tensioning from the drive to the driven pulley. So why are we worried about proper belt tensioning? First and foremost, a properly tensioned belt is going to have better torque transmission, which is going to lead to longer life for both your shivs and your belts. And what does that mean for you? Well, it means more uptime and it means less cost in actual spare parts. So you're saving money, you're saving time, and actually you're saving energy. And we'll touch on that in a different video. First method we are going to discuss for finding proper belt tension is the force deflection method. And to do that, we need to use a belt tensiometer. To use this thing, we need to find a couple critical measurements. First, we need to know the distance from drive to driven shiv. We're going to take that measurement and multiply it by 1 64th, and that's going to help us set this little O-ring here, the big O-ring, if you will. And for this, we're at 12 inches, which translates to 3 16ths of an inch, which we already have this guy set for. Next, we're going to set the small O-ring here to zero. Now what we're going to measure is the force that is applied when we push down on this belt to make it level with that. And what that's going to do is show this little O-ring here the amount of force that was needed to do such a thing. Now we're going to take that information, we're going to compare it to a chart that is provided with this, and that's going to tell us whether or not this is tensioned properly. So the second method we're going to talk about today is the elongation method, and we're going to use the Timken tension finder to do so. To use this method, first thing we need to do is place the belt on the shivs and then take any slack out of the system. Once this is done, we're going to scribe a line on the belt and then put that line at the start position on the tension finder. After that, we'll clip the tension finder to the belt and scribe a second line at the opposite end of the tensioner for reference just in case the spring slips off. From there, we will use the chart on the tensioner to determine what number of slot the belt should be tensioned to. We will then tension the system until the mark on the belt moves to that slot on the tensioner. At this point, we're done. We're gonna take the tensioner off and tighten the bolts so the system is in place and ready to rock and roll. So those are two methods that you can use to make sure that your belt drive is properly tensioned and to make sure you are maximizing your uptime and the life of both the belts and shivs in this system. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Dave, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Erie Tech branch.